Hello guys, today we will install Linux Ubuntu Server Edition. I have the installation ISO from Ubuntu website. We will use Oracle VirtualBox Manager, which you can download from virtualbox.org. Here is the website. Let's go and install it. First, we have to press the new button right here Linux Ubuntu. Let's see if they have 64. Next, here we have to choose the size of the memory for this virtual box. They recommend 512 MBs, but I probably going to use 2 GBs to make sure everything is fine. In this window, we have to create the virtual hard, hard drive. They recommend the size of hard drive of 8 GBs. Okay, we will use this 8 GBs. Not now, but we will use it. Here we have to select the hard drive file type. I will let the default virtual box this image. Next storage on physical hard, hard drive. I will use dynamically allocated. It will increase the virtual hard drive by time. 8 GBs. Let's create it. Okay, now we have the environment for installation. We will press start. In this window we have to select the installation disk, the ISO, which you downloaded from the Ubuntu website. It's on my desktop. Start. English as the language. Here we have to choose install Ubuntu server. We have to select the language in this window. We will select English, of course. Select your location. I will let the default United States. It doesn't really matter. Detect keyboard layout. No. I will set up by myself. So here I'm setting up the keyboard layout. I will choose the default English US. It's okay. The installation will take a while. This server edition is quite small. Okay, the host name I will let the default Ubuntu. Here we have to create a user because Ubuntu distribution will not let you log in as root. The root account on uh, Ubuntu distribution is locked. So uh, every time you have to perform perform any administration commands, you will have to do the sudo command and take the privileges as root. Okay, full name for the new user. I will use test. Doesn't matter. Username for your account. Test. Here I have to choose a password. Usually you will choose a complex password, not something like dictionary based or like that. I'm going to use a simple one, test one two three. We have to verify it. Test one two three. Use weak password, yeah. In my case yeah. Encrypt your home directory. No. Okay. As you can see the installation is quite easy to make. Partitioning method. Guided, use entire disk and set up LVM. It's okay. We will select the virtual box hard disk. Write the changes to disk and configure LVM. Yeah. Okay. We will use this 8.3 GBs. 
write the changes to the disk as you can see everything is up and running the root partition and the swap partition as well okay let's write the changes to the disk and go on it's quite fast hey guys if you like these videos please hit the like button and sorry for my bad accent I will try to improve it by time thanks a lot for watching this The setup it's almost done. Here, if you want to use a HTTP proxy to access the internet through it, you will have to configure it as in this example. I'm not going to use, so I will leave blank. I have a quite fast internet connection, so it's going to retrieve the files very good. Okay, now the actual software is getting installed. Yeah, I will select install security updates automatically. I will use OpenSSH server. And continue. Probably you would like to use something else like HTTP server. This is just a test, so I'm currently showing you how to install and get up and running an Ubuntu distribution through VirtualBox Manager. It's almost done, 85%. Okay, the installation is done. Yeah, install the group bootloader to the master boot record. It will make our system bootable. Installation is complete, so it's time to boot in your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media, see the ROM floppy so that you boot into the new system rather 
then restarting the installation. I will press continue. See? It's loading. Okay, here we will use the username and password we selected during installation. So it's test with password test123. So we have logged in in the operating system. Let's check the IP address. If you want to, to make a port forward, so you can connect through this operating system easily with the putty or which with any other client you can easily do that by going to settings network pressing on advanced port forwarding add TCP protocol host IP I will use for this test my loopback IP address host port 22 guest IP it's 10 dot what was I believe dot 0 dot 2 dot 15 22 as a guest port Yeah, that was the IP address. Okay, so now we have to restart the SSH server. Restart. Okay, we have to use sudo for, for each administration operations and enter our password which is test123 ok the server is up and running I will use putty to connect to it localhost port 22 ok test with password test123 that's it guys thanks a lot bye